such an awesome character. Uh, definitely, I think, a fan favorite, for sure. Uh, Inkling as well. Uh, and definitely both very strong characters. I'd say, like, almost everybody agrees that these characters are very, very good at what they do. All right, man. So Squirtle, the thing about this matchup is, is Squirtle can really outstrap uh, Inkling. You know, Inkling has very great frame data all around. You know, frame three jab, a lot of really quick aerials. Um, and, you know, a lot of the matches that she plays, she just outframes people. Squirtle doesn't give you that same opportunity. Squirtle is faster than you. And, and so you really have to acknowledge that as an Inkling player. Well, so the thing is that Squirtle, like, Squirtle doesn't really have the kill setups in it. Yeah. yeah. So you have to switch to Ivy, to switch to Charizard, to get those, just, like, net the actual stocks, you know? So we'll see if uh, Lamp's just going to stick out the Squirtle. Oh, that could be it. Smash is going to do it. Wow, at 90. That's quick. Yeah, Squirtle's very, very light, guys. Um, one funny feature about this matchup is generally, you know, a lot of people, if they really want to survive, they'll, they'll pull out Charizard late into the stock. But because Charizard has such a wide Booyah window, um, it's super wide, it's like 30%. Um, he, or it's like 20, 25 or something like that. Okay. Um, he's actually very susceptible to dying to Inkling at late percent. Moral of the story. Yeah, this matchup seems real bad. <laughs> yeah. I, li I like the withdraw there, I like the side B. That's a really good defensive option. Oh, a B. Oh, with the drift back to ledge too. Yeah. Lamp gonna be able to do That's that. Cute. Oh, what? He got, whoa! And he didn't. That was weird. That was the weirdest thing I've ever seen. Yeah, well, he didn't get. Yeah. Uh, Charizard's actually too heavy to get scooped out of the burial really? without smash. Yes. Interesting. That's what happened there. Okay. Good combos from SS. SS is kind of cooking right now, guys. Man, Lamp was looking so hot that first stock. Is he going to be able to respond to all this pressure? Oh, oh just misspaced yes, it. Ooh, withdraw. Ooh, this Okay. Wow. Uh oh, far back here. Goes low. Yeah, tries to tries to punish the tether. Dude, because Ivy was all inked up, when he did the tether, and he had the like really long vine whip. Yeah. There were like little bits of paint splatter that were like stretched out along the vine. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like such a cool. Okay, we're in window. We're in window. This is it. This yes. is true. Oh, that was true. Ooh, good landing with an air. Oh, no. Okay. He just runs out the roller. Yeah. I'll just go all the way to the <laughs> Yeah, who goes? He's out of ink. He's just rollering. What's happening? Okay, guys. With rage, we're not Booyah window right now. Uh, okay, now we're not at all. Back there. I like SS opting not to get ink when there was an easy edge guard opportunity. I, th I thought that was really important. A lot of a lot of Inkling mains might just sit there and charge their ink. But he could have gotten the back air, sealed, sealed out the stock. Yeah. Just added some more pressure, you know? Yeah, sure. Because right now... Oh. Yeah. Forward throw, probably. Yeah, forward throw. Okay, right now, like, pretty much every aerial in the kitchen sink will kill Charizard. Oh, we grab that down, down tilt. tilt. Covers the jump. Maybe maybe, maybe clip the re-grab as well, too. But SS can be taking game one. And that is kind of the funny thing about um, about Ink, as you were saying, like, like yeah, SS did a great job. Look, if I have an easy edge guard, I don't need Ink. He's at 175. Yeah, a forward air would kill, a back air would kill. I, the, the, the thing about it, Ink is such a great resource for, for Ink, right? Because it allows you to put on a, a damage multiplier on your enemy, right? Yeah. That scales all the way up to 1.5 times damage. But also, it, it provides knockback on some of your stronger moves, like your up smash, your forward smash. Has significantly less knockback if you're under a certain ink threshold. Um, so you do want to have it generally. But when you're at those super high percents and everything will kill, who cares? Just go edge guard. So we're sticking with the Squirtle. I mean, the Squirtle definitely did some work in the first stock. We didn't really see that again. So I'd like to see Lamp try to make the Squirtle work for him again. Jumps into the jet. Ooh, that's rough. That's rough. Yeah. Getting hit by the rapid jab. Tell me what that feels like, Slev. Uh, it hurts. 
Oh yeah. You get all inky. <laughs> I want to be inky. Oh, uh, Quas. He didn't pick orange portal. He picked blue portal. Yeah, I've heard a lot of people say like they do not. They do not want to. Like they get annoyed when they're covered in ink. I've heard a lot of people say that. My character's color is not this color. Okay. Uh, it, SS is looking good. SS is okay, has figured something out about Lance play style. Wow. Wow, okay. Lamp. Starting to get it done, man. We haven't really seen his Ivy sort rack up that much damage since the farm. Ooh! That was quick. SS taking the first stock. Okay, That's I like so that. Annoying. Yeah, that, that that definitely is not a, a thing. It's not true at all. But it's a great mix up off the down throw. Okay, man. Lamp, like you said last last game, you did a great job of, of, of like uh, boxing with this inkling uh, as Squirtle. But so far, he hasn't really been able to get a word in edgewise. No, not at all. And I'd like to see him try something. Maybe he can try to zone with that for a bit, but this is bad. Yeah. This is this is this is horrible. This is like a an R. L. Stein book. Use that invincibility. Let's get my mouth. Yeah, yeah. Okay, man. This is a, a tall order for Lamp. Can I come back? Like, look, a three stock deficit. I've seen reverse three stocks in this game for sure. I've been reverse restocked in this game. Uh, but this is looking like a tall order. SS is kind of all over Lamp right now. Yeah, he's, really he's got a turn. He's being smothered. Like, at any time it seems like Lamp has a chance, SS is like really going to get ahead of this bang. And when SS has the advantage, he holds it for so long. Yeah. yeah absolutely. Okay. Finally, though, he's establishing some safe control. Oh. Yeah, good, good job not getting hit by that little bit. It could be a hard, deceptively hard move to punish in Lamp's defense. Okay, up tilt. Up being like jump a little bit. Oh, he goes for it. SS finishes out the yeah. three stocks. Look, man, you might be called Lamp, but I just turned off the lights. <laughs> uh, all right, man. Hey, really good oh, stuff nice. to SS. Lamp, you know, I, I, I definitely probably not happy with that one. Uh, but you got you to shout out to SS. SS, make an inkling, you know, resemble the top tier everybody's claiming her to be. And uh, I'm really impressed with what I saw from SS, for yeah, sure. Yeah, definitely. For sure. I feel like it's time, Dane. Is it time? I feel like it's time. Uh, we're going to do a commentator switch. Well, Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Uh, Peon and I will be competing in the next wave of singles. Uh, we will not be back on the mic, but we will be joined by some awesome commentators, so stay tuned. Yes. Uh, you know what You know what stream to have your sound on for. Get that multi-twitch, but you better have the sound on for this one. That's all I'm saying. Guys, thank you so much for tuning yeah. in. Slap, you're an awesome, you're an awesome guy. Thank you so much for, for talking with me. Okay. And guys at home, enjoy the enjoy weekend. Enjoy the rest of this tournament, and uh, we'll see you guys soon.
All right, guys, welcome back to SoCal Chronicles here in the hotel in La Mirada. I'm H uh, Hi, Bozzy. Hey, what's up, man? Be be I was going to say it been a minute, but you, if you guys know us, you've probably seen us together yeah. over at... Well, you guys probably yeah. remember seeing us over at uh, Hollywood Action Tuesdays. Every Tuesday, um, that's another tournament, but that's not the tournament we're at today. Today we're at SoCal Chronicles. We're watching here, right now coming up on the stream, it's going to be Fallen versus... I, I'm supposed to say, I, I, the name was there, I didn't want to appear, but yeah, Elegant. Fallen versus Elegante. 